Another thing that you'll need to do once you've decided yes, my jQuery plugin behaves in the in the platform on the platforms I need it to. I've looked at the HTML, I've looked at the files, it all looks sensible. Um, there seems to be support, a walkthrough on this that makes sense. So the next thing you need to do is to read how it works. So you actually have to spend time with this tutorial because what or documentation, whatever comes, because you are just not going to want to or most likely have the knowledge to sort it out yourself. If you know how to code jQuery already or JavaScript, you might be able to, but really taking the time to read through this and, and look at each thing as we go, th you know, as you as you know, as they explain it is super important because the next thing you're going to do is modify your jQuery plugin with your images, your, you know, possibly your font. Um, uh, maybe size things differently, etc. So you have to learn how it works before you modify it. In the case of this plugin, there is a very well thought out linear tutorial uh, that explains add the HTML to build the image. Get, you know, it talks about what each little thing is. This is a great tutorial. Add the CSS styles. It goes through all of that. So um, it, it really likes to, you know, it, or these guys really apparently like to thoroughly explain every little bit of the thing that they've built. They happen to be explaining it even within Dreamweaver, which is really nice. Insert the thumbnails and link to, link to larger images. Link the jQuery image gallery to the JavaScript files. Attach the jQuery lightbox gallery to the CSS style sheet. Um, call the jQuery Lightbox plugin, and then you're good to go. So they really walk through every little bit of the demo that they've built. Over here, it just so happens that I found that this particular image gallery with jQuery Lightbox turns out that they have a three part tutorial. So they have parts one, whoops, where is it? Well, part one is open. Part two, part three are all here by the same people. So, you, you know, there's a massive amount of support for this one. And, and if I, you know, I'm not going to do this well on camera, but I might watch the whole thing to make sure I understand it. And I feel pretty confident because I've done this before and I've looked at what's here and I think I'm ready to actually like modify it. And um, if I weren't sure or if I were new at this, I would I would watch their videos too to make sure it all made sense before attempting to do anything. Just does it make sense? Then I would go back through and do things step by step. And so um, here is this first step or first intro. So I've paused the video, I've read through here and here. Now unlike what I told you to do, like read through everything before you go any further. This is your last time before you back, before you, you know, before you're going to spend some significant amount of time working on this. In my case, I've scanned this enough that I feel confident that I, if, if I follow their steps, I'm going to be fine. So the thing I'd like to point out here is um, I don't have this uh, this whole jQuery thing, I don't, it's not part of my site, my Art190 file, that's what I call my site, you know, whatever you're calling yours, it's, it's not part of it. And one of the things they suggest in the beginning is just to go ahead and define a site. So I'm going to call it something where I know um, exactly what it is, and I will go there. And so this is this is the folder. Now this is only as you're customizing this before you put it into your site. So this is totally separate. They are having you define something completely on its own away from your site. I have downloaded this into a separate folder. It is not in my root folder for my site right now. That comes at the end. When you get things, at least the first version, like you might have multiple lightbox galleries throughout your site, 
You just need to get the first one on the first page all squared away, integrated into your site and everything, before doing the other ones. And then the other ones you can build from within your site. So, so here I've got this Lightbox folder. I see I've got the finished files, but I've got the CSS, images, JS files. So I'm going to click OK. So Lightbox is my root as I customize whoa, as I customize, um, there, Lightbox is my root, select, double check and make sure I didn't do something I shouldn't have, there we go. And now all I see as I'm working with this is, um, are, are the files that go with this jQuery plugin. If you were using multiple jQuery plugins on one site, I would still start out testing everything. Eventually things are going to get combined into like all the CSS and stuff will be combined into one CSS folder and that kind of thing. But for right now, we're just going to assume you're only going to use one jQuery plugin and this is it. And I am going to then read the next set of directions here. I'll be right back. So the next thing that happens in this tutorial is it explains what the HTML is all about in here. And on your course page, I will have a link to this tutorial. So, you know, it's telling you this wrapper, they don't they don't say you can't change it, but then the next thing they say is don't change this gallery ID because it does trigger the gallery. And then it talks through what each one of these are. A div for the Polaroid, your thumbnail, your caption, and then your Polaroid div ends. These are all through classes, so you can have multiples throughout the site. And so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the finish file. And I'm going to start a new HTML file. And I am having you all code in HTML5, so I'm going to do an HTML5 file and see if if uh, the world ends here when I do that with this plugin. And I'm going to save this in my root, because I've got my CSS, my images, my JS, and the jQuery for the head. And I will call this um, Lightbox Modified. So there's nothing here right now. It's just an HTML5 document. And uh, I'm going to then go to the finished files and open up their HTML. And I'm going to go ahead and take everything that's in here. And the reason this will work in this case is inside here we have this HTML file and it has this JS folder, this images folder, this CSS folder. So it's connecting to those. Well, out here on the root, we have the exact same folders, a CSS images and JS. And you know, it's got, it's got the sample images in there and everything. So my assumption is that I should be able to take this HTML from the head down here to right before the body, wait, that would be silly. Include the body. So I'm starting with the head and going all the way down. And I'm just going to paste this into my HTML5 document, starting with the head, getting all the stuff and pasting. And things do not look like they should. So we'll check here and see what's go. Oh, but remember, hold on. Remember, depending on the version of Dreamweaver you're in, it may not render it. So we're going to preview in Firefox now and see what we get. Still not looking good. But it's deceptive because if you click on this, it's working. So what's wrong? Well, when you, which is good news because in this case we're trying this in HTML5 and we don't know if it'll work in HTML5 and that would be another thing by the way another layer of testing so as I look at this I see okay so I start to check all of my links well this is a script that's isolated this is my file this is a script that's isolated all on its own it's just right here actually within the site so I can ignore that one in my test or my uh, exploration here but I see I have link, href, CSS, lightbox, CSS. So that means in my CSS folder, I should have this file, but I don't have it. So 
I'm going to go into the finished files here and I see it's here so I'll go ahead and duplicate it just as a base you know like if you're if you this might make you really happy that that's not there because it's one less thing to deal with and one less bit of styling to deal with um, so you know because you're probably going to customize it anyway so let's go ahead now and preview this in Firefox oh and now that I went away and came back okay it looks good so this is my file lightbox modified I go over here I see I'm in lightbox modified and it looks exactly like the demo okay so I have a set because I could have just gone in and worked with his finished stuff but you want to leave whatever they gave you like he has this nice little set in here for us of, of this is working in finished files you want to leave that alone I mean granted you can always unzip another set but since he gave us that we want to leave it alone so that's why I created my own HTML file and got everybody working here okay and you can double check for stuff if you you know you can go all the way through you can say okay in this JS file there should be folder there should be two files jQuery jQuery lightbox there are and then the images are clearly all working so so we're good so now I'm just going to um, start, well, I'm going to read through a little bit here, see if there's anything else I need to know. And in this case, I mean, I have skimmed this already. So he says add the CSS styles, which this that he's talking about is, um, is what he saved in uh, this lightbox CSS so all of all of this stuff background color background image how he's got things that's just how he made it look pretty the functionality and this is very important to understand the functionality is in this right here this jQuery lightbox so that one you don't want to modify this one we can play with modify that's fine and uh, I'll show you like how I would work with this so like if you ended up with two external style sheets or three you would know okay this just deals with the light box styling and uh, so he explains that then he goes into insert the thumbnail so he's just telling you how the logic works and he's basically saying you are going to have a thumbnail and this thumbnail links to the larger version and if you look at the code you see inside of holder which holds each one of these uh, uh, rectangles inside there you have a div with a class of thumb and it's got a hyperlink to the large image that wraps the thumbnail then we have a div that has an h3 in it with the caption uh, right here okay and that just that sequence repeats itself all the way through until the end and they've got a clear float in here because they have to get these to sit up like they are they they have them floating so um, that's all there is to to working with this now it's just modifying it so now that you know you kinda understand how things work and he talks about linking the jQuery image and all that stuff so I will go through all that with you um, as as I work with this uh, structure here I'll show you how you know I would go about modifying this before working it into uh, an actual like web page